And its game got a Western release. Its main game got a Western release. <laughs> Wait, Wolf, which one is this gonna be? Day one of investigation. Results, nothing important. Yeah. I'm also realizing that we are now halfway through this story as well because that's been that was the second fight. Was that only the second? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> every story ends well with with two exceptions. Every story ends in exactly one of two ways. So you're going to be seeing the last fight a lot. I was wondering about that because like back in obviously in um, Kobuto, like every single boss fight. Poor most proper every character was just a rainbow head. I just Yukari's portrait is so fucking big that before Rainbow's portrait entered screen, it was literally blocking the sprite of Reimu. <laughs> that's up. Yeah, it sounds like something Yukari would have. Puts a hole in front of your face. Hey, I'm talking asshole. <laughs> anyway, Yukari is actually not involved with this, but she does want to get it over with. So, will you help Yukari? She has two different sprites here, huh? Yeah, she uh, she gets a lot of work done for her. She was introduced to... I think she might actually be new for this game. I don't think she was in either of the previous two. Hmm. Who the hell is she partnering up with, dare I ask? I don't immediately remember, actually. So, there are some characters that just go by themselves. I think they were like one round fights, but they're just for the sake of progressing the story. That's fair. I don't remember if she's one of them. I don't think she is. Well, she doesn't list the partner, so that's a very interesting possibility. Oh, you do have throws in this game. I uh double uh double forward punch button. That makes. I was trying to figure out how you throw people the other day while I was live in a game. I was like, huh, I cannot find the function for the life of me. Guess it makes sense. Yeah, it sounds right. Yeah, but that's always been the case. Will you listen to me, jackass? I'm trying to help you here. <laughs> You're shooting idiots. You okay. fired at me first. <laughs> I get to hit you back now. Oh, going around too. Okay. So <laughs> while, while you're doing this really fast, I do want to share this one really... It's hard to talk about the series and not talk about the porn sometimes. Continue. By all means, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> there was this one... One of the... Slave does not hit Black Bullet. They're trying to make it like Ikaruga. Is this the one you told me about where you have to run away from, from a fight? Or no. What? Okay. That comes much later. That comes much later. Honestly, it seems like you can just, just play neutral against this, uh, this right now. It's not like you can't just block a lot of the projectiles. Anyway. So, so far, I think like the the absolute best Doja team, team so far does actually involve Ikari. It involves her teleporting a random human to uh, where Yuka is. <laughs> yes. I know, I know what you're talking and about. And then they, she traps bullets with him in a room and like, you have to orgasm 1,000 times. That was great. But the boy only orgasmed like 200 and something times. And it turned and out she went like 700. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, that was good. That's good shit. Uh... <laughs> Sometimes the series makes some pretty decent porn. My favorite is when Yukari spirits away a little boy to her place and she plays with... With them alongside Yuko. Okay. You misunderstand. That sound that does sound like Oni Sign uh, Heaven right there. Not gonna lie. You misunderstand. He's not giving it to them. She's giving it to him. Oh. Okay. Hey, that should be right up your alley at this point. <laughs> you still get a milf out of it. No, you get two milfs out of it. I guess so. But I tend to steer away from Shadowcon whenever I can. He's not a Holy sh wait, what? I thought that was the second fight. No, that no, was, that was the third. Oh, wait. Strong superhuman. Yeah, uh, Raymond's story just sort of ends. It's purely set up for the other stories. Okay, I swear that was only three fights, though. Does that mean something? No. Ver uh, versus Marisa. Versus, um, versus Moko. Versus oh, right. Byakuren, and then versus Yukari. Okay, I'm, I was miscounting then. Your turn. Oh, boy, I, I'm up. That's fine. With Marissa, this is gonna be fun. Five. Okay. De there's definitely variables in these stage lengths then. Uh, well, Pure power or mid power or low power? This is for your L2 attack, right? 
I'm pretty sure it is. Yes. I'm gonna go heavy power just because when I summon the opponent out of shield, uh, in the second phase of every fight, that's gonna allow for a much heavier punish. Also beam, so it's probably gonna be a lot easier to land too. Master Spark, that to do it. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta dump the meter, yo. It's gonna be weird seeing this from a third person perspective. Cause I've never- Oh, hi there. You have had one really heartwarming do dojo, but I can't find it. Damn it. That doesn't surprise me. Her gimmick is that she's Jotaro. The one on the right, really? Yes. Okay. You'll see in a minute. Hi. <laughs> uh, they put that. They put that in uh, her uh, her intro placard. Dish throwing. <laughs> okay. All right. Fruto I'm... throws plates. It's a Taoist thing. That was the wrong button. I try to remember the buttons immediately. Like two of them are projectiles, pretty much. If okay. you pause, you can see you can see the button list. Okay, so you can just try uh, guard by holding back. Cool. Yeah. Because there's a there's the uh, meter burn guard where, wherever it is. I think it was L1. Yeah, it's L1. Cross me up? I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> okay, so you can jump upwards, but interestingly, you can jump downwards to evade shit. Which is really cool because that kind of like takes the usual ideas of like 2D fighting games and completely flips on its head. What anti air? Anti air is every direction, including neutral. Also, just straight up got a fucking command man beam. Mini I mean, Master Spark. From my um, from my years of playing fires, I know how strong beams are by now. So this is definitely pretty good. I can just I can just straight up stick back and do this. Oh yeah, you also have hold uh, charge moves as well. Like yes. That. Hold triangle and hold circle. Yep. Unfortunately, it seems like getting hit or, uh, gets rid of my uh, stun, but whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see what you mean by the Jotaro aspect now. She has a stand. It's called uh, Funzan, so and it's a and it's a cloud man that punches things. Definitely seems the part. It is not counted as one of the only male characters in the series, even though it is a male cloud. Oh, you're still able to get hit. Okay. She was completely knocked down the ground. I was like, wait, did I miss my punch window? Shit. You have enough meter to do your. You have a full meter actually, if you want to do your ultimate, which is triangle and circle. Just try and get the guard break. Oh, is the different characters have the different uh, meters? Interesting. Ah, At no, this point, I think it would probably actually take the mouth out. That's kind of a cool effect. Give it a shot. Just waiting for this to go away. There you go. Oh, wrong one. Your sub character cannot use it. Only your main can. <laughs> well, <laughs> it took down someone, but what was the wrong one? That one. Okay. That's okay, you still have almost enough meter to do it again in a, in a second. So it seems. The good news is you technically have three health bars. So you should never be too hard up in uh, any of these fights in the first seven or eight stories. Yeah. This is my first this is my first time actually finding AI, so just getting used to this. Come on, please break guard, damn you. It's easier when you uh, when you're up close because you can do multiple hits that way. Yeah. <laughs> that works too, so that, long as you win. That was not why I had mine, but alright, I'll take it. <sighs> so Marius is going around like, wait, what the hell do you mean everyone can do it? Oh, and I literally can't even see the person that's controlling me. <laughs> okay then. Because Koi, she is invisible to everyone, unless Koi, she wants her wants them to see her. Oh, you're right. So unless uh, so unless Koi, she is deliberately speaking to them, they can't hear her. Oh, hi, you're back. Ah, uh, yes, perfect bully target. Yes. And you're back too, yay. Kokoro also secret MVP. <laughs> secret best girl. I don't know what emotions are, so I'm just, I'm just gonna hit you and see what that emotion does to you. Fair enough. Or see what emotion that drags out of you when I hit you with this uh, axe scythe thing. Fair enough. Let's see here. That's actually a famous Chinese weapon. I don't know what it's called or offhand. 
Oh, because of the whole Kappa thing, just shooting everything at me. Probably should have seen this coming, actually. Kappas and Toho are inventors. They, they, they do science and build shit. So, what would you compare her to in a Marvel versus Capcom? Is there so, anyone with a lot of gadgets? Frank West. That works. <laughs> I could like, tag it. There we go. I would have said Street Fighter, but I'm pretty sure in that case, with the exception of Vega, it's all physical. Will this hit? Yes. It hits down. Yeah, that's got a good hitbox. Hell yeah. It better for the amount of meter it costs you. Yep. Goddamn. <laughs> Goddamn 70% of it. Or 60%, rather. She's dazed even though she's inside of the barrier. That's kind of funny. Alright. I think they can save themselves if they switch, but that's on a very limited window. Yeah. Alright, well, that turned out way fucking better. <laughs> Pfft. Now she's also doing a Jotaro. Urban Legend, okay. That was the previous fighting game. Urban Legend and Limbo. So basically the way these fighting games work typically is that every time a new fighting game plot happens, it's usually due to the fallout of the last one. Adds up. Which is sort of following uh, the process of events in a technical sense hmm. from Toho 10, where in the events of Toho 10, Pro uh, proceeded to influence the events of the next four straight main I'm, numbered games. I'm in suppressed mission right now. Yeah, I... Yeah, this translation's also kind of fucked in places. Yeah, I it's mean... It's not I... just that the dialogue is down there, where you would never be looking. Yeah, my eyes are very frequently down there to read, and I know I'm missing details on the actual character sprites, and that's annoying. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, kind of weird sometimes. And part. for a second, the shadow on Brimu's dress skirt thing almost made it look like she was wearing red tights, too. <laughs> yeah. Made her legs lo also look pretty red. Damn, it's got some nice corner carry. Marisa, as usual, is one of the more powerful characters in these games. Well, just the fact that she has a straight beam is usually going to be a strong aspect. I mean, I'm Last cannon, guess... she can't take much of a hit. But she hits like a nuke. Also, I'm seeing if I can maybe use the beam to, to like, counter uh, weaker projectiles as well. It seems to be working for the most part. It overwrites small projectiles, but it doesn't, uh, but it doesn't do enough individual hits to break through the barrier by itself. Yeah. That's something you need continuous small hits for. Come on, stop jumping, please. There we go. Okay, yeah, so it seems like the two different characters when they switch, they, de they do have their own values for how much shield is left. That they do. That seems like it'd be kind of rough, because I don't know if they... Does it look like they heal on standby, maybe? No. This might kill. Nice. Yep. Yeah, it's exactly why I got that uh, ultimate, because of the heavy-ass punish for the shield. <laughs> That's usually what I do, too, if there's no right-down-the-middle option. If there is a, a right-down-the-middle option, I go with that most of the time, because... Uh, if things do get tough, I like one that I can use more often. Yeah. But I never go with the weakest option because it's uh, it does jack shit. You'd probably go for the weakest option if you want something that you can use more often than neutral or something. Like, yeah. more opportunities to use it. Yeah, it's fair. Here we are. Wait, no, not yet. Hello again. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of the same characters multiple times. You mentioned also earlier that Bjarkarin was way more downplayed in her character portrait than if she, her sprite is, and yeah, Yukari is definitely on that same exact level. She is usually There'd monstrous be a... amounts of boobage. And that's in the sprite too. The por the portraits and the sprites are done by two completely different people. That definitely shows. They're being very modest. Ju just the same as they were in that manga. There wasn't much in the way of fan service in that manga. Yeah. If you want your fan service in Toho, you go to the Toho fan anime, which goes out of its way to shove Yukari's tits into the camera, and I find that more distracting than arousing. Right? 
I, I kind of get that same exact thing with a lot of fan service anime. It's just like, ah, I can't enjoy this. Because the problem is, in that case, these episodes are only 15 minutes long, and really only 9 minutes go to the actual story of the episode. Yeah. And the story you're trying to tell, keyword being trying to tell, is retelling the events of certain games in animation. Except you're cutting away to present day, with Yukari in the bath, and it's like, that's cool, but can you wait? Yeah, Can right. you do that at the beginning or at the end, not while you're trying to tell the story? And also, maybe don't be weird and tell seven, then, uh, don't tell seven, and then, uh, eleven, and then six, and then nine, and then eight. <laughs> oh, yeah, that shit. Yeah, I haven't watched it. Actually, I don't think I've watched any of that since the last time we watched them together, like, four years ago, for that ex exact reason. There's, like, yeah. four or five new episodes. I just don't care. There are. Jesus, I'm surprised they're still making it. It used to be a lot slower. They've sped up their process a little. That's good to know, I guess. They used to only be able to make one every two years when they mm. first started in, like, 2012. Wait, is that a... That's a loss. <laughs> so it's a two-round win against her, but if you lose one round, you're fucked. Okay, I see how it is. Did it take away your stock bar? I didn't have a stock bar. Uh, if you hold down triangle, it skips the dialogue. Apparently. Or, uh, it hits the skip button in the... It hits the codex skip button, which is the fast-forward button. Hmm. Ooh, I can use that this. You're on a meter, though. You're gonna go back soon, though. You can try jumping over that, sure. Okay. Oh, yeah, some of these characters are actually three rounds if they're single fights. Trying my best to just play regularly, but like not getting much love success out of that. Fair it comes up later uh, in her health bar too. That doesn't help either. No. The good news though is that while you're attacking her, even in the barrier, you're still doing actual chip damage. Yeah, so I'm, I'm noticing that. So, there's... so it's not a complete loss. Oh good lord. Okay. Ah, right, that is. Rough to evade. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna try my ultimate here, see if I can maybe kill the chip damage. No dice. No, but you got a hell of a lot closer and you're still on uh well when this after this next attack goes through, you're still on two out of three of your full stocks. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so the beam does go through those weak projectiles. That's good to know. Yes, it does. <laughs> because you have no <laughs> friends, right? Because <laughs> she's great. So it seems. Because she has no filter. Yeah. So who could be the final boss above... I didn't expect that back on there. There's a concert going on. We have to stop whoever is going to fuck it up, because we don't want the concert to get fucked up. I didn't even know there was a concert going on. Okay. Yeah, they said that's what they were doing here, because this is a live house. Oh, I see. Hello, person. Oh, boy. Joan and Shion, they are... They are some characters, they are. You might have even seen her from, uh, meme gifs. Maybe? You'll, you, you'll recognize what... Okay, so she's got a bit of a Nico thing going on. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Not to that extent. And she has a sister, apparently. <laughs> Love that sprite. That's kind of a neat... That's a neat look. Yeah, it's Moko, but in blue. Yeah. And homeless. <laughs> okay. Behold... The Pestilence and Poverty God. I don't actually right. know what the word Pestilence means. I thought Pestilence meant disease. Pretty sure it does, actually. But Probably. we have the Ultra Rich versus the Ultra Poor. The yes, class the... warfare. Yeah! 
I did not expect that kind of take from Toho, but hey, we can roll with it. Of course you should. They make jokes all the time about Reimu being poor. That is a very valid point. Shion, the poverty god, makes uh, makes anyone she comes in contact with uh, brings misfortune upon them. Hmm. So they become super unlucky. Let's see what we can possibly do. Okay. I'll leave round two a mystery. They do something fun. Uh, okay. Ooh, I can use that for shit. Use that for stagger pressure. Okay, cool. I'm just trying to find ways to get inventive with my my the gameplay style. Mm. Kind of cool. But what? Hmm. I got attack from below. Yeah, she has a support too. There we go. Well, they all do technically, but now's your chance if you want to use oh. it. There we go. That's it. Nope. Just barely missed it, but still taking a good grip of damage, so it doesn't really matter to me too much. You take what you can get. Essentially. And uh, get used to this. You're going to be seeing a lot of this. This is one of the three round fights because it's the final boss. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. That went pretty smoothly, though. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Shit. And if I lose, if I uh, lose one round, it's all over. No, you still have all of your health bars. Okay, cool. They don't take away your health bars; they just hit harder. Come on, trying to break shield. And they also get more erratic. There we go. And deletion. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Yep. <laughs> uh, give it a second. Possession exchange, absolute loser. Whoa, okay. <laughs> hey, try to use your support. Uh, momentarily. I'm trying to find one move in particular that Marissa has. There it is. Or maybe not. <laughs> nope, there we go. Probably bigger punishes we can go for here, but if they exist, I would like to know about them, <laughs> guys. There we go. Nothing's so she has one move that's I think just regular circle press, where it's essentially uh the holy water that Richter and Simon have from uh, smash. <laughs> and that's pretty decent. Well, it's not the exact same, it's more like the axe toss, but yeah. Neat credit sequence. Oh yeah, they do, they do uh, panels, it's real good. <laughs> Sometimes we have different shit. <laughs> okay. Also, there's dialogue here. Yeah. Suddenly Marissa was possessed by the poverty god, she lost consciousness, but her luck lowered to the limits. Oof, okay. <laughs> So you might not have noticed, but there were bits in the f in round four of that final boss fight where uh, Shion stole your partner. Uh, I noticed that there was someone behind me and it, it hit me once, but I'm like, wait, should I worry about this? I don't know, maybe. Not immediately, but so she stole your partner and made you start punching your partner instead of Joan. That I did not notice. Yeah, you'll see huh. that on playback. It'll be a hell of a it'll be a hell of a reveal. Okay. Towards the end, in the inside the barrier is not Joan, but it's Koishi. <laughs> okay. 